<laughs> Hi, my name is Raleigh, and I'm a freshman from Duchenne Academy. Yeah. <laughs> my poem is entitled, Time. Time rests in my hands. My fingers dance along the etchings of life, signs of all the things I've ever held, all the fists I have curled and unfurled, and reminders of people and places I have let go of. Time rests in my hands, a pen, etching and scratching a paper clock. Halfway through a notebook is one year. A page bloodied with black ink is a single second. As I jot my way through this battered old journal, I see how the spine cracks, the cover tears over time. I know that these blemishes give it character. The way I have marked this location with my presence, my words shall linger like pen marks on my thumb and fingers, an impression of my memories, indelible, unfading, even when time isn't. Time rests in my hands. A dainty needle dips in and out of view, darting between white fabric and leaving behind a trail of color. Time is a handicraft that speaks with an ancient voice and tugs my fingers along on its own accord. Little X's that make up a bigger picture, check boxes of color and stories and life growing into a tapestry of things that are seen and then not just pinned down but stitched. I keep knotting up the threads in back. One too many convoluted stitches all tangled up inside my head, but that is okay. Time lasts as long as fabric can, entombed in a bubblegum tub of fabric and string that is until the needle poke cotton frays at the edges and the picture is complete. Time rests in my hands, dripping through slow and sticky. Time is a vat of honey coating my fidgeting fingers, glazing them with amber warmth. I watch as golden rain patters to the floor. It splats, smacks hard against the inevitable end to this free fall because I know it is there. With every start, the knowledge of the end buzzes against my skin. My traitorous ears bring me the sound of my friend's footfall and the knowledge that those that are coming will also be leaving. We walk through that door, through that gate, into that classroom, but we will leave. I try to savor the honey, sealing my fingers as if I could cradle time. I drip it into a teacup and relish the sweetness. My teacup is empty all too soon. Time rests in my hands. Sometimes I think about just letting it slip through, but that isn't like me. I'm not one to let go of something that I love. It will stick with me like honey stitched into my skin, pencil marks on the side of my thumb, my very hand itself telling me don't let go.